So today we're reviewing the Fine Fine K025 wireless microphone. Now I was approached by this company to do a review of this microphone. I am not sponsored, I am not affiliated with them. I did receive this product for free in order to do the review, but that is it. I do not work for them. I do not get paid by them. If you buy this product, I do not receive any type of affiliate commission at all. That being said, they wanted me to unbox this, say a little bit about it, test it out, pros and cons. So for any companies out there that would like me to review products in the future, I am not hold back. If I feel that it is um, cheaply made and I would not use it, I'm not going to suggest it to my viewers or anybody that happens to watch this video. Keep that in mind if you want me to review your stuff. I am going to be honest. I don't care if it's cheap or expensive. If I like it and I think it's a good product, I will say so. If I think it's crap, I will say so. If I don't think it's worth the money, I will say so. So all of y'all watching, just know that. Uh, but what we are using to test this out is I am using a Canon T5i. It's an older camera, DSLR. I'm using a Zoom H6 going through the line out directly into the side of the DSLR. Right now I am using the XY capsule mic built into the zoom right here. And what I will do is I will unbox this and we will hook this straight into the zoom and test it out that way. We will also hook it directly into the DSLR without the zoom to see if you can use it straight in and if we have to use any type of adapters we will do that we'll see if we can figure that out we will also take this outside we'll test the range and see how far this can go online it shows it can go 65 feet as long as it's in sight of the receiver we'll test it out and see see how far it can go before it finally drops out maybe it's farther than 65 feet but we will test that But First, let's get into unboxing this. That is one of the requirements from the email that they stated. All right, fine, fine. First off, what I would say, maybe change the color from white to black or gray. So the box is a little dirty, just as far as shipping standpoint, um, presentation. Other than that, I mean, White's cheap. I get that. It's a thirty-dollar Amazon microphone. So, looks like we have a little card, a little instruction manual, a little foam, an actual microphone. size comparison to my head I mean it doesn't feel bad but it is it's thirty dollars so it is all the housing is all plastic except for the my the mesh protecting the diaphragm looks like we have a little ring so it doesn't put on the microphone so it doesn't roll but actually has one built in here around the, the, the top so it's not going to roll we have our receiver our transmitter whatever you want to call it it has a LED on off switch and an antenna look at that inspector gadget style um, quarter inch jack so it's Let's grab some batteries for this thing. Let's see what we need and test it. I'll be right back. I'm back. I put batteries in it. Takes two AAA for the receiver. And in here, it just screws on. Well, that wasn't like that before. Let's screw that back. Okay. 
Well, when I unscrewed this, the whole top part came off. There we go. And I put the batteries in. Free warning, I'm going to put this straight into my Zoom H6. I did turn the pad on, I turned the gain down, so when I turn this on, hopefully it does not blow your uh, eardrums or your headphones. But this is a warning, right now, a warning. But supposedly I turn this on. It's a green light. When I turn the microphone on, it will connect and it shall turn red from what the instruction said. Green. Light green. Red. I turned it on. Now I have a red light. Now let's do that with it connected to the zoom and see how it reacts. That's pretty instantaneous. You saw that? Connected. Off. Connects pretty quick. Now let's hook it up. Now I'm not going to turn this off. I want y'all to know I'm going straight live with y'all. Going in. So I'll pull this back so y'all can see. I go in, input one. Okay. Turned on. Now the microphone is turned on and it shows it's connected. I'm going to now turn off the capsule mic and just use the Fine Fine K025 um, wireless mic. Sorry if I'm not looking into the lens, guys. I'm looking at my screen so I can see the, the audio level so I don't blow your eardrums. Uh, but I'm going to turn off the capsule and strictly use this handheld wireless mic. And I'll turn the gain up slowly as to not blow your eardrums. Okay. First, we will turn on the K Fine mic, which is an input one. As you see, now we have three lights. I'm going to turn off the left right capsule. You'll see two lights right here turn off. We are now using strictly the fine fine. We are now, oh, we are now using strictly the fine 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 mic. I hope this is loud enough for you. I do have the pad on, and I am at a gain of around five on the H6. I'll turn it up just a little bit more. Now we are actually at a five. So I have the pad on, the zoom, and the gain is turned up to five. Audio levels look like they're looking great. Let me actually look at the meter on the zoom and see. Now the levels on the zoom, we are at negative 18 on the meter. So we can. I'm going to see if I can turn this up how it gets. I'm actually just going to watch the meter on the zoom instead of the camera. Now we are at about 6. It goes up quick. So now we're at a 6 with the zoom on the gain. And we're at about a negative 12, reaching close to negative 6 when I speak loudly like this. But as far as I can tell, this microphone seems to be... See, on the, on the camera, it shows it's clipping... On the zoom, it doesn't. So I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, if this is hurting your ears or blowing or distorting. Um, let me try. Let me turn it down just a little on the zoom. And we'll try that. Because I won't know until I go back to edit this or look at this. Um, how this truly sounds. But from what I can see, I mean, this was an easy setup. Super easy open it, put some batteries in, plug it in, we're good to go. 
Now what I will have to use, I do have a jack here, an adapter from a quarter inch to a 3.55 millimeter. We will use that to go directly into the DSL. Stay tuned and we will check this thing out on range test and straight into DSLR. All right, guys, so here we are. We are outside. Um, as you notice, we might be only doing mono because this test I am doing is using this microphone straight into the DSLR. And we can see here in the microphone, the adapter is going straight in. <laughs> Sorry for this uh, makeshift setup. But we're going to test the range also. Uh, as of right now, I have my handy cam so I can look at my screen so I can see the audio meters. I have it marked off at uh, every 15 feet. All the way to my back corner is at 87, 88 feet. Uh, we're just going to keep going. My dog's out. It's windy. Someone's doing their lawn. So this is perfect everyday conditions for if you were to use this uh, doing interviews. Now, being mono doesn't matter. You can fix that in post-production. Uh, but let's do the range. Uh, I'm going to switch this over to autofocus. Right now it's on manual. Hopefully you can keep up with me, camera. Probably not. But let's try this. And I'll mark off. I'll save my distance as I get to my marks. So we're going to go in. I have the antenna up, so we have the range. Let me turn on the handy cam. So I can zoom in, make sure I see my audio levels. I have my dog out here with me. Come on, handy cam, zoom, focus. All right, here we are. Let's see. Okay. Finally, handy cam. Exposure set correctly. There's audio. We are now at 15 feet. 15 feet right here. I can see audio moving on the camera. Let's go back. be about 45 feet making it now to 60 here this microphone is supposed to go to 65 so let's keep going I'm going to go behind this bush to my very corner, which will be 87 feet. Corner to corner. Hopefully it made it that whole way. If it did, that's pretty amazing for a $30 microphone. Here's my dog. But there we go. We have the range, the unboxing. So I'm going to end this. I'm going to go back, check the audio. All right, guys. So here we are. We are back from the range test. Um, as you can see in the video, it does drop out. Now this does have... I only was on channel one. This does have 20 different channels to go through in case there's interference, frequency. I was not about to go through 20 different channels. Uh, for me, that was a good enough review to see on channel one. At 15 feet, little drop 
drops in here and there. Um, it was kind of windy. So, I mean, for $30, it's what do, you, what do you expect? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get some good distance out of this that's reliable. Um, depending on the channel and your situation, the circumstances, and the environment, the audio quality of this microphone, I think, sounds great for the price. I think as what I use this as a standalone, this is what I need to trust to do interviews if I'm out doing a job. No, I would not rely on this. But would I keep it in my backpack as a backup in case something failed and I just needed something that I know works and is quick? Yes. Would I use this for what I do in the house as far as making videos so it's easy quick less hassle with wires absolutely because i can easily just flip on my capsule mics on the zoom or put in my condenser i have plenty of options if, if this fails but if this fails i can easily stop re-edit reshoot even if i'm streaming i can easily switch to another mic not not hard at all, not complicated. If you're out there working in the field, you have a one-shot opportunity, I would not rely on this. I would not. But for the price, the intended audience that it's for, if you're going to use this for karaoke at the house, absolutely. Absolutely. I think this is, would be great. So that, that's my review on it. I do recommend this. I would buy another one. Um, though I did get this for free, I would pay $30 for this. I do think it is worth the $30, that is for sure. So, I hope y'all are happy and satisfied. Go ahead and send me some questions if you have any questions. And I'm sorry that, you know, there was a little single mono part there for y'all, but I wanted y'all to experience what would happen if you went directly into the DSLR. Now, maybe going strictly strictly into the dslr through that adapter i mean that could have also been what gave audio issues um into the camera from the microphone i mean it's having to go through another device before it getting into the camera so that is a possibility but that is going straight in with an adapter that is what other people would have to do in that situation so if that is an issue, I wanted y'all to be aware. And thank you for watching this. Any other companies out there, go ahead and send me stuff to review. Hey, it's kind of fun. It's my first one. I'll, I'll do these again. So thanks. Subscribe, please.